When you see a red dot in front of the dedicated server, it means that you are having mods that are different from the mods registered on the server. What you need to do, is extract the server packages files from the game ETS2 or ATS. But first, you need to remove possible current files from your game's folder. The next step, is starting your game. Choose the profile you want to extract the files from and start it. For the following steps, you need to have your developer's console active. In the description of the video, you can find the timestamp within this video, which will bring you to the explanation of getting your console active. The next thing you need to do, is adding the following line into the console. Export, underscore, server, underscore, packages, and hit the enter key. This can take a while, and look like everything got stuck, but it isn't. Just wait until the cursor is blinking again. It is also possible that the process happened immediately. When you go back to your game's documents folder, you'll see that two new server packages files were added. Next, we open the Truckee application, and go to the dedicated server section. Then, click on the pencil icon for the server you want to change. Scroll down, and add the extracted files. Next, you click the save button at the bottom, and finish everything by scrolling up again, and click the restart server button. This is all you need to do. If you start the game, and try to connect with a dedicated server, you'll see a green dot in front of the server. Let us now explain how you activate the developer's console. Go to the folder of the game, and open the config file. Search for developer and change the zero into a one. Next, search for console and do the same. Change the zero into a one. The only thing you still need to do is save these changes and restart the game.